Hi, this is Hitesh and welcome to the NS3 video guide. Now in this movie, we are going to talk about some few tips about the installation first of all. Now in the previous movie, I have told you how to install the really perfect way with all the libraries and all the things. And this is the output that you are going to run from the last command that we have gone in the previous movie. It took me around 35 minutes to actually compile all of the examples and test files with this command. Now there is another go-to way that really goes around the way and will save a lot of bandwidth. Again, it will not save you much of the time, but it will save you bandwidth. Now you can skip all of those libraries which I have discussed earlier, that was quite a bunch of them. What you can do instead, you can simply start Snaptic and I'll show you one library that is only just one and you can simply start with that. Oops. Password was wrong. Let's try again. And this time the right password. Now what you have to check when you really want to install just the simple packages. Again, I would say you can work around this way. You can install just one package that is G++ which is not installed by default. So you can simply right click on that, mark for install and click on the apply. That's it, that's the just one library and you can actually run the command. Of course, it's not going to compile all of the modules and test files, but definitely if you really want to just start with a couple of things like you want to just run the first script, second script and all the examples, some of the examples, then you can work around in this way also. But again, my recommendation would be to go ahead and install full fledged NS3 so that you can actually, uh, you don't have to face much of the problems. So that was a quick, quick tip to save a lot of bandwidth. Now what we want to do here is we want to first of all test that things are working good for us or not. So I'll go into the NS3 folder and there is a test.py file. If I run this file, it is going to take a while, but it is going to tell me that whether all the tests are being run properly or not and things like that. So let's just wait here. So you can see it says the modules which were built properly are these and it's going to take a while because it's testing all of the things. So I guess it's going to take just a while. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll just kill all of these tests by pressing Control plus C and I really don't want to test all of these. So what I'll do, I'll just give a hyphen C of code, just check out the core libraries if they are good or not. And don't check all of them because it's going to consume a lot of time. But if you have time, it is recommended that you check with all of those. Okay, so all the all of the tests got passed and we got really excited results out there. No need to worry about much of the things. Now here is one more command that you should be running but it is not at all a compulsion. Make sure that you are in the same directory and after that there is a WAF and what you need to do is give an option of hyphen D and debug. What we want to do here is we want to just debug and configure all of the examples and test files with the WAF. So again, I would say this is not at all even uh, required if you want to do that or not. So it just says enable examples, then space hyphen hyphen, you want to enable tests also and then the configure. So you have to just run this command. But again, this is not at all a required command. So you don't need to worry about that. Now let's try to run our very first script. So where is our first script? For that, I have to travel into the examples and if I check out, there is a folder inside the examples. Let me just check out. Here it is. It says tutorials. I'll move into the tutorials and do a quick ls. And you can see we have got first.cc and first.py. The py script is for the Python integration. If you want to do that, there is a wiki on the NS3 website for Python integration also. And if you just want to run this, what you have to do here is you just want to copy this file. So I'll just copy first.cc file to let's move on to one folder back, two folder back, and then there should be scratch. So inside the scratch I'm copying. 
Now what I'm doing here is I'm copying the file and with the dot dot slash I'm going one folder back with another dot dot slash I'm going one folder back and inside the NS3 there is a folder named scratch you can see here. Here is the scratch so I'm just copying the file there. Now let's move on to a couple of directories back. Do a quick ls and you can see there is a waf here. Now here is a quick reminder or you can simply say a quick uh, guide out here. Now whenever you keep your files make sure that the original file is safe that's why we have copied. Second thing inside the scratch folder whenever you run scratch folder the entire folder is being compiled and run. So if there is a file inside the scratch folder which is being halfly edited or not working properly then your other files may also suffer. So let's try to run that. How we can run that is really really simple. Just run it with the WAF. Give the option of run and after that you just have to name the file. And here is first.cc but don't give the extension. That's not how you run that. Just like that. Let's wait for it a couple of seconds. And it says it's going to build up. And here is the output. Now we are expecting only this much of output with the first script. So that's it. We have run successfully our first script. Let's try it one more time with the second script. So what I want to do here is I want to copy one more file out here. So what I'll do, I'll copy a file from let's say examples inside the tutorials and there is a second.cc file and I want to copy it inside the scratch folder. That's it. And I'll again run it with the same command waf giving option of hyphen hyphen run. Then there is a scratch and second. Don't give the extension again. And when I run this I'm expecting a different output based on the file. Now it's going to take just a couple of moments. Let's wait for that. And here it is. So we have got the output as well again for the second script as well. Make sure that you remember this is the command. You don't have to give the extension. Now this was all about configuring the NS3, installing it, a couple of tweaks on the installing as well, a couple of sideways also with the installation. But finally we have done with the successful installation of NS3 and we, are, we were able to run our first and second script also. Now in the future upcoming movies I'll try to put up the videos which tells you the configuration of Eclipse, some of the editings and maybe even some of the network topologies building up and all such things. But again this all depends on the time. I'll try my best to keep this series uh, as long as possible but depends on time. So that's it. Please try out the NS3. It's really a marvelous tool.